Here is your Phantom 2 wideband air fuel ratio. It's their 5778 model. I'll put this in the annotation below. I'm going to turn the car over so that you can see, but it takes uh, 20 seconds for the temperature probe to warm up, and I'll show you that here in a second. So I'm going to turn the car over and you'll see this turn on. So you can see the countdown right now, and it goes through the uh, color band as well where you can see it being red to green and then finally it'll turn uh, amber or yellow colored when it's reached and then then you'll see it tell you what the fuel air ratio so right now I'm running pretty rich uh, during startup 11.45 and you'll see it it'll start to lean out as the car warms up a little bit has a couple different modes here that you can select you can see here you got two push buttons one for the mode so you can read through the instruction manual and take a look at what you want to what you want to see with it. You can also change the uh, units that are displayed between lambda and uh, your air fuel ratio. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come around and I'll show you now the um, bung that's put in for the temperature sensor for this. downpipe you probably might not be able to hear me but then you've got the uh, bong put in here for the temperature sensor coming off the downpipe and uh, that's pretty much what's controlling the system that runs back in here through the wiring harness and then back inside to the A pillar. So I don't know if you were able to hear, but you probably saw the A-pillar, uh, pardon me, the um, temperature probe coming off the downpipe for the air fuel ratio. And uh, here when I push on the accelerator, you'll see it change the, you'll see, and then there's a slight delay as it, as the car becomes a little bit richer. As I let off the throttle, you can see it gets a lot more uh, lean. And then as you come back into it, you'll see it'll start to come, you know, now it's okay. And uh, I'll, I'll show some, some parts of it actually on the, on the road running so that you guys can get an idea. This is not backlit though. This is the one gauge that does not become backlit when the lights are kicked on. Okay, so now that we got the car moving a little bit, you can see here, and you'll see a little bit of a lag. When I get into the accelerator, you'll actually hear the car pick up and become rich far before the wideband O2 sensor does. So you'll see that. See, like I'm on it, then about a half a second later, you'll see it come in and it'll be pretty rich. And then as soon as I let off the throttle after being on it, you'll see it'll bottom out and then it'll find, it'll start kind of picking up. But there's always a delay with the air fuel ratio. Um, it's not, you know, as real time as a mechanical gauge is going to be. But uh, for a wideband, it's, it's it, I guess it serves its purpose is my point. So like I said, you come into it. You can hear it, it'll pick up a little bit, and then you, as soon as you come off of it, if I let all the way off the throttle, you'll see it'll, it'll lean out pretty fast too. So, anyways, that's the uh, wideband air fuel ratio, and it does not have a backlit display or else I'd show that.